What's going on Harry Potter fans? My name is Dawson Redden. I'm a proud Gryffindor and welcome back to the Fantastic Reddens of Where to Find Him. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're unboxing a package that I have been wanting to receive for a very long time. I've seen this time and time again and I keep saying, Dawson, you need to go ahead and order that. And then I never do. But I finally, finally decided to sit down, place the order, it has arrived, and I can't wait to dive into it. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video, Accio Intro. Once again, if you're new here, my name is Dawson Redden. On this channel, we talk all things Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts, and Hogwarts Legacy content. So if you're interested in anything The Wizarding World, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified of any future videos that I post here on the channel. We are so happy to have you here. Today, we're going to be, like I said, diving into a package that I have been wanting for a very long time. I've been teasing everyone over on Instagram making people guess what they thought this item was going to be that I'd be unboxing today. And everyone actually chose other items than this one, which was strange. There was a few people that did pick this item. A few people that I think have been paying attention to my stories, have been listening to uh, what I've been talking about purchasing and wanting to get. And I think that they were able to see through that and were able to pinpoint this item. Everyone else, I think, thought, hmm... That's more Dawson's style, so he's probably going to go that direction, which is why I threw it in there, was to trick and deceive and to get people to think um, or question what they thought I was going to get, I guess I should say. Um, but anyways, let's stop talking and let's dive into this item. Um, the items that I asked what you thought I was going to be getting over on Instagram included the Nimbus 2001, a statue uh, from Iron Studios, which was Harry riding Buttbeak, which is definitely high on the wish list. And everyone, um, not everyone, but a lot of people thought that that was the item I'd be unboxing today. It is not. Hopefully that'll be one that I get here soon. Um, but today's item was actually the other item on the list, and that is a package from the Bradford exchange i've never purchased anything from this company before usually it's like subscription stuff with this company and you got to buy something and then you like pay us a, a fee and you get the next item and the next item and the next item and they get you for like a full solid year uh this is a straight buy you buy this and then you're done um so i've never purchased anything from this company but this is a lamp so I have been trying to finish this kind of corner of my room. I have a futon, I have a wall full of different prints and pictures, and then one section of my wall is bare and blank, and the reason it is bare and blank is because I have a kind of like a nightstand or a side table next to my futon, and it's been sitting there empty, waiting for this lamp to go on top of it, and I didn't want to put anything on the walls because I didn't know how far up the lamp was going to go. It's been this whole ordeal. So I was like, I finally have to order this lamp, right? So this is the Hogwarts lamp. I am so stoked on this item. Let's just dive into it. Let's open it up. Let's see what it looks like. I literally cannot wait. I hope it is as gorgeous in person as it looks everywhere else I've seen this thing. All right, I've got it open. We have on top a certificate of authenticity. I did not even know that this came with a certificate of authenticity, but it looks like it does. And then we also have some instructions. So Hogwarts Castle Lamp. It is produced to the highest quality and artistic standards of the Bradford Exchange in a limited edition presentation restricted to a maximum of 295 casting days. Uh, this is number 9,828. So I'm not entirely sure on how many of these there are. But it looks like they only casted this item for 295 days. But like I said, they don't really give us a, um, a number of how many there actually is. Uh, but it looks like on the back we have ownership and transfer endorsements. So you can transfer this to someone else if you decide that you are going to get rid of it. But it has a spot for the original owner. And then you have one, two, three, 
four different transfers. I don't plan on ever transferring this, but here is that certificate of authenticity. Like I said, 9,828. I will definitely hold on to that just in case, but this is probably just gonna stay in the collection. On top, you can see we have some styrofoam. Looks like we have the lampshade itself. I'm gonna set this in the floor and try to work around it. So first things first, we need to get the lampshade out. Here is the lampshade. Of course, to the naked eye, it just looks like a regular lampshade, but once it lights up, what's magical is, is we have all of this on the inside that is gonna show. All right, let's get the actual lamp out. Me and styrofoam have a bad relationship. I really hate styrofoam. So on the side here, it looks like we have I can get it open. The part that's gonna hold the lampshade up here. Then, oh, that's nice of them. I did not think we was gonna get something like this, but we actually have a light bulb, so we can immediately put the light bulb in and plug it up and see what it looks like. All right, here we go. This is much smaller than I was expecting it to be. I don't know why I thought it was much bigger than this. And there we go. The Hogwarts Castle Lamp. Take a look at that. It's actually really gorgeous. I don't know why I was expecting it to be a lot bigger in person. Um, the videos I've seen, the pictures I've seen, made it look to be like it was a lot bigger than this. So this isn't like super huge, as you can see. Um, it's about the size of my palm. Uh, I can hold it on one hand. It's not super heavy. Oh, that's neat. So there's a light bulb in the bottom as well because this is going to light up the castle. So not only does the lampshade light up, which is really cool, but the castle itself has windows and stuff inside, as you can see, and those are actually gonna light up as well. So very pretty, the paint job is pretty well done. Lots of good detailing. Looks like there was some paint spill in a couple of areas, so the paint job could have been a little better in some spots. Um, it's not flawless, that's for sure, but it's definitely a very pretty piece. And I think that if you're just looking for a lamp, this is a really cool lamp to have. So here is the Hogwarts Castle lamp. This is the base. Absolutely beautiful. Displayed on the rocks with the black lake below it. Water coming up like waves. Got the little boathouse over here. Super gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Love the coloring. It's really pretty, it really is. I don't know why I was expecting it to be bigger, but it's super pretty. And then on the bottom, we have a sticker. This says Harry Potter, Hogwarts Castle Lamp. And then it has that number on there, number 9,828, limited edition. Uh, this lamp was made on November 9th of 2022. And it gives us that same information that was on our card about that it was restricted to a maximum of 295 casting days and crafted um, by the Bradford Exchange. Once again, here's a spot for another bulb that's gonna light the actual castle itself up. We have our plug-in here. It's super pretty. I really, I really like it. Uh, I, I think it is fantastic for what it is. It really is a beautiful piece. Okay, woo, all right. <laughs> Let's put the rest of this together so we can see what it looks like, the final look, right? All right, so now that we have our bulb on, we can put this on. You have to put the bulb in first before you put this on or it won't fit. I'm just gonna squeeze this and then it's gonna slip into these spots here. 
once they're in, then these will just drop, these little covers just drop over. They don't lock in or anything, they just kind of go over that, like that. And then, we can put our lampshade on. Just like so. Oh, it's beautiful! Alright, I'm going to take this and spin it to where the seam is in the back. And then we're going to take this and screw this on the top to lock it in. And just like that, the Hogwarts lamp is now complete. All we have left to do is plug it in and admire it. Just look at it. It's absolutely stunning. So beautiful. The Hogwarts castle looks so good. Honestly, even with the little imperfections in the paint, you're not going to be looking at this like real up close. I wouldn't figure. Um, so at a distance, it just looks so beautiful. I mean, even up close, it looks really good. Like I said, it's not bad. There's a couple spots that bleed over, but for the most part, the paint job is done really well. The lampshade looks amazing. When we plug it in, it's going to light up. It's going to look like the Marauder's Map. The castle's going to light up. Let's just, let's just plug it in. Let's see what it looks like. I'm excited to see. And just like that, it's lit up. It's beautiful. As you can see, we have the Marauder's Map on here. It's got different things that it says on here. Keep an eye out for ghosts. Uh, let's see here passage to potions it's just really well done really well thought out we have footprints here that you can see of people walking around the castle is lit up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off some lights so that you can really see what it looks like you can see the castle lit up uh, yeah this is beautiful so here we are by only lamp light here is the Hogwarts castle lamp the lampshade is absolutely stunning the way it is done. As you can see, the Hogwarts castle lights up. Those windows are lit up. Super cool. Absolutely a gorgeous piece for anyone's Harry Potter room. If you're looking for a lamp, this is definitely a great option especially if you do not have a Hogwarts castle in your collection and I do not I do not have a Hogwarts castle in my collection I really want to get the noble collection Hogwarts castle but until then this is my Hogwarts castle in my collection which I think is a great Hogwarts castle like I said it is absolutely beautiful and it looks so good underneath this lamp there's a ton of different Harry Potter lamps out there that you can get there is uh, a Deathly Hollows one that's been going around that has uh, a similar style to this, except for it displays the uh, Tale of the Three Brothers and Death on it. That lamp is really cool as well. I just really like this one because, one, I did not have a uh, Hogwarts Castle in my collection, and I just thought that this entire piece just was stunning. Absolutely stunning. And now that I see it in person, I am so glad that I made this purchase. So that brings us to the end of today's video. A short, sweet, and to the point video. This is a beautiful lamp. If you're looking for a lamp to put in your Harry Potter space, check out this Bradford Exchange one. I know it's been out for quite some time, but it's new to my collection and maybe you are unaware of it. I think it's just a beautiful piece, especially if you do not have a lamp and you need a lamp or if you do not have a Hogwarts castle and you need a Hogwarts castle, you can get both in one kind of package deal here. You get your lamp and you get your castle all in one. It's very beautiful. Like I said, there are some spots with the paint that could have been a little cleaner, but for the most part, the paint job is phenomenal. It looks really good and it's actually a really nice heavy piece. And I think it's going to last you for a really long time. And of course, like I said, it is limited edition and it comes with a certificate of authenticity. If this is something that interests you, I will put a link to the Bradford Exchange to this lamp down in the description. Just go check it out. Thank you so much as always for watching and for all of the love and lumos that you give here on the channel. Remember, if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. And if you are subscribed, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified of any future videos that I post here on the channel. And until we talk again very soon.
Knox. Doesn't quite understand me. Know what I mean? Woo-hoo-hoo!